my name is Jonathan McClanahan and welcome to McClanahan Stringed Instruments YouTube channel. In my hands is my personal McClanahan mandolin. This is my Loretto model with the third point, three piece neck, and quilted back as well. The serial number to this mandolin is 740 LP number one. That's 740 Loretto prototype number one. And there's a very interesting story behind this mandolin that I want to tell you about. You know, in, in life, we all experience defining moments. Whether if it's something that we are engaged in or whether if it's something that we see, these defining moments changes us and can ultimately change the course of our life. And that's what happened to me one time in Santa Fe, New Mexico, back about four years ago. My family and I had an opportunity to go there and we went there for the sole purpose of going to the Loretto Chapel that is world famous for the spiral staircase that has no center column. It's uh, studied in architectural design schools all over the world for its strength and its beauty. The amazing thing about that chapel is I was looking for the spiral staircase and thought that that was the apex, and it really is the apex of the chapel. But as I was walking up to the chapel, I saw a grandeur in that chapel that was absolutely amazing. I remember I stopped at the door and just looked at everything in the chapel, the, 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 uh, the uh, carvings on the outside by the door, and just everything about it carved out of stone. And it just so touched me. But I was not prepared for what I seen inside that chapel. I began to see figurines of a probably, I would say, a foot and a half to two foot tall, carved out of solid marble of Jesus Christ hanging on the cross. And there was Jesus in the arms of Mary. And there was the patriarchs in front of the windows and the apostles and, and just the carving of them, most amazing thing. The intricate detail that, that was in each of those carvings was, to be honest with you, beyond belief. I mean, it was, it was absolutely amazing. And be, behind the altar of the church is this huge marble, solid marble carving. And then as I made my way back toward the back of the church and I saw that, that staircase that was just absolutely breathtaking. I thought to myself, you know what, I can do the same with my craft. And I'll be honest with you, I'd always poured my heart and soul into every mandolin I'd ever built, every guitar I'd ever built. But I came under a conviction that day that I can even do better. I went back to the drawing board on my mandolins and the result of that visitation came with Chris Davis's mandolin, uh, which is a Trinity model, number 727. From then on, uh, my mandolins took on another whole life. And right directly after that, I sat down and began to design my third point Loretto model. And here it is. Whenever I saw uh, the Loretto Chapel, it just made me want to do something different. It, it stirred up the creative juices inside of me. And I contacted the Loretto Chapel and, um, and they said it would be an honor to, uh, to have my mandolins, uh, uh, one of the models of my mandolins named after their church. And to be honest with you, the honor is mine that they would even allow me to do that because uh, the, that Loretto Chapel changed the course of McClanahan Stringed Instruments forever. And I'm so grateful to them, to them for that. And, all right, you've heard the story behind this mandolin and this model, the Loretto model. Now let's hear it. So Jonathan's personal Loretto, the prototype, number 740 LP1. And it is absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful pig card material. Everything about it. I love the aged binding. Just sets the varnish color off perfectly. Yeah, we know it's beautiful, but what's it sound like? 
Let's see. Let's put a little pick to it. See what we got. Uh-huh. 